sorry. I ain't want you in my motherfucking life, baby. No time for it. You ain't no good to me, baby. No, no, no time for it. You say you want a who? You say you want a what? No time for it. You say you want to be with me, but you ain't got what? No time for it. Good. That look nasty. I know that room smells like doo doo juice and feet and balls. Hey, everybody. Did y'all see that jumbo I posted up? It ain't gumbo. That was some jumbo. What is jumbo? I don't fucking know. That's why I call that jumbo. But that shit looks nasty than a motherfucker. And Rihanna, I'm finna go use your makeup. Oh, this is uh, Kylie Jenner got these shades. No, I'm still using Rihanna. Honey, shit. Girl, Indiana, it is 547 over here. And it is, what time is it at home? 948. So my ass is up. I done took a nap thinking it was going to be morning. And it's still not more. Well, it's morning, but it ain't morning like, you know, I got four. So my answer just up. And I'm waiting on this breakfast to get started. I think it started at six or maybe seven. I'm going to go check. And I'm going to go down to this room. I mean, to this uh, lobby <clears throat> and eat this continental breakfast. <laughs> Fuck up this continental breakfast. And eat up all that shit and come back and go to bed again. Because I don't understand. I done slept twice already. And then by me sleeping on a plane all the way here. That didn't do nothing. I took a nap. Yeah, I woke up. Then I took another one. After I got off, off here the last time. And I woke up and I just got off with my jizz. Me and my judge trying to figure out how the fuck can we um get these shirts and stuff taken care of. But I figured some shit out, so hopefully it can work out. I have to just get in contact with the people tomorrow and let them know what the tea is. Uh, and we have to do that. What's up? Nothing much. Waiting for this continental. <laughs> Waiting on this continental breakfast to get ready. So I could go down here and eat up all this food. And then bring my ass back up here. To this room and. Try to get some sleep. Because I ain't sleepy. Shit. I'm mean, gonna going to work with somebody. Bitch, let me just go to work with you, shit. Let me stay for why you style or fashion my room. No time for it. Why is that song in my head? <clears throat> oh, because I was singing it for that jumbo. Because that shit was nah. I don't know what that woman was putting in that uh, supposed to be gumbo. But I have never seen that type of juice. For no gumbo. That shit looked like it was some diarrhea, some turd, just in a pot or something. She boiling it. You know what I mean? She couldn't cook me a motherfucking thing. Fuck that. See, that's why I ain't fucking with people's food. No time for it. And then they got these fucking robots that supposed to be more than like, um... Baby, ain't nobody got time for no robots. Baby, I've seen some gumbo before. I don't eat it, but I've seen it done before. And that shit that she made was that 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 um 
Yeah. I don't know what that was. But she should, uh, hey, Jeff, <clears throat> she should fix that. She said that y'all have been asking for her. Did you see that egg that she dropping in when she pulled it out? No, ma'am. I don't want to eat that. Come to Texas. I will be in Dallas the 26, 27, 20, I'm lying, the 27, 28, 29, and then I'm in Houston the 3rd and the 4th. Baby, here she would have killed me with that shit. That shit looked the nastiest. That shit looked like you go. Mm. Throw up. And my stomach is weak, too. <laughs> my stomach is weak, so I don't think I can handle that, Jeff. A uh, bowl of shit. It sure was. Somebody said, you put jumbo as gumbo. No, bitch, that's jumbo. <laughs> that ain't no fucking gumbo. That's jumbo. Some junky shit up in the pot is what she put in there. She's talking about you crack about a dozen and a half eggs. Girl, no, ma'am. That shit don't even look. Yes, I could cook. I sure the fuck can. And I bet you one thing, I could cook the fuck out of some gumbo. Some gumbo. Um... Uh, and I don't even eat gumbo. I guarantee you that. I know what people put in that shit, and I know what I've seen people make. And I can make some fucking gumbo, but that shit she made, I don't know what she was doing or what she was trying and how it came out, but no, ma'am. It won't be in my stomach. No, I don't know Shauna Brooks. I know it's a lot of fires that someone started in SoCal. That ain't crazy. Somebody start them fires. I just had to text my friend to see if he's okay. Cause, uh, <laughs> that ain't cute. What's the tea? I'm trying to wait for them to get this food ready down here in this lobby with this continental breakfast. So I can go ahead and eat it up and go to bed. I could slam the kitchen. I don't know, like like Miss Patty, because I hear her food be slamming. But I know for a fact I don't cook no nasty ass food. I know I could cook. I know that. And there's not gonna be no shit that look like that. Like that. <clears throat> yeah, baby. Somebody started them fires. Somebody. They need to go look and see all them gas stations. And see who was filling up gas for starters with anyone just pouring gas into containers like gas cans. Because for them to have start no fires like that, that gas had to be leaked all around. Because you just can't throw a match <clears throat> or a damn cocktail, you know, with a little alcohol, a little liquor, and all that stuff with a towel and light it and throw that somewhere. It ain't going to do all that. Somebody use some goddamn. Um, gasoline and they put that shit on fire. Somebody as over in that area is in some deep shit and the only way they can get up out that shit is by doing some shit like that or they ass is crazy as fuck and they did that. <clears throat> you in Australia. I'm in Manchester. Yeah, I've seen it. i watched all of them. I can't wait till it come on. Yeah. And she, I knew Luther didn't come out because of his mama. And when, you, when you're when you a man like Luther Vandross, it really hurt. When you're a man like Luther, and you're singing all them love songs, and you got women panties just getting all soggy, and they throwing them on the stage, they really don't want to know about you being gay. They would prefer for you not to say nothing about it, even if they have an idea, but they would prefer for you not to say nothing and sing your heart out. And that's why Luther never came out because he knew, just as Patty said, that the women was in love with him and he didn't want to hurt his mama in case she, in case she felt some type of way. 
And it's sad that people have to go their whole life and not be. Bitch, I can go my life without being me. Bitch, fuck you. I'm sorry. I am who I am. And I'm singing these songs. If your pussy still get wet, then your pussy still get wet. Just imagine a man singing to you. Let me sing these songs and get my job. That's my job. I'm a gay man who got a beautiful voice that sings beautiful songs. And I make men and women brawls get wet. Hey, from Columbia, Jim. Favorite Luther song. Oh, I don't, baby, too many. I am a big Luther fan. I love, I love Luther like I love Patty. Luther will always be my number one favorite male singer. There's not one that I could think of before him, during him, after him that could top his spot. Nobody. It's going to be my loot loop. The Luther sings his ass off without a shadow of a doubt. I do. Mm. And it's soft. It's so fucking soft. My ex boo said, I would say, just give me a kiss with them big old juicy lips. Like, no motherfucker, don't come over here touching on me like that. <laughs> What's up, Columbia? The said from me, Jim. I love y'all, too. I'll see y'all next year. Yeah, that voice was effortless, baby. You can't fuck with Lulu. But Luther, let me see. What can be my favorite Luther song? Let's see. I... It's so many. But I do love his remake of Anyone Who Had a Heart. If anyone who had a heart will hold me. Oof, I ain't want to go out there. Like you do. You. You really didn't have a heart and treat me like you see me. What am I to do? Baby, I had a CD that I used to play. You love Stevie Wonder, too. I can't deal with Stevie Wonder. Just. Some of his songs I like. But it's something about his voice. I don't know if it's him singing live that I can't handle. It's something about his voice that I'm just like, ooh, just turn him off. But Luke, uh, Stevie has some wonderful songs, too. These three words. Oh, I need to find me a mate. I need to find me a mate. I bit my fingernail, and I'm still chewing on my damn nail. I do, Indiana girl. All them songs just bring me all jishy. It's the holidays. I get all jishy around the holidays. Didn't want to be a hoe during the summer. So no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying. Marvin Gaye was hot. He had some hot songs too, but nobody's better than Luther. <clears throat> Marvin Gaye, cute. Like I love Gerald Levert. He has he has some really nice songs. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me reroute you. Okay, hold on, God. This is my friend. I want to make sure he was okay because I know he lived out that way. Because I was going to say, baby, you need to go to the house. Let me tell you where that spear is at. She okay. Lady Gaga is okay. I really uh, feel like she tried to use the gay community a lot to sell her record. Because she do a lot of stuff for the gay community every time it's a record out. She wanted to be so gay and so we are power and girl. Mm -mm. There's something funny about Gaga. 
anytime a person come out with a CD and they always throwing the gays up in there and mixing gays and stuff, that's just for sales. That's just for the sales. I never seen um I never seen that before. She does that. Katy Perry does that. Anytime they want to sell something, they want to mix it gays. No, bitch. So, you know, you have to watch it. Hey, Cuzzo, what's going on, Michael? I haven't seen you forever. I cuss your daddy out. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you know what? For real, I, meeting Miley Cyrus, she, baby, she is so down with, she's so down with the people. Like, for real, I smoke weed with that hoe. I mean, hold in a good way. We smoke weed together. We have one-on-ones together. Her best friend is trans. Like, all that. And I mean, Molly is down. She been around. You cussed about too? <laughs> <laughs> I think me, you, and Divine should just show up at his house one day and just light his ass up. Because he need a good ass whooping cussing out. I haven't watched Dragula yet. I haven't even had time, baby, to watch it. But I want to see it because this show is always interesting to me. And what the girls come bring out be amazing. Them two always look good. I love the Boulay sisters. Even though they're a couple, but I love them more. Because, baby... <laughs> Uh, but where you gonna, baby? No, I'm not going to. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not going to nobody's birthday party. <clears throat> Girl, yeah, I ain't never went to Christmas shopping. I'm giving some people some money, and that's it. I do watch Star. I haven't got to got to tell you what happened at his show with Dior. She did three numbers. Uh, bet. Ooh, I thought I wasn't. Michael, yeah, you may have to call me just. Because... <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's okay. It's not, they just got a lot of smoke out there where he at. Because he's down in that way, but he's not where the fire is. But it's, he just said it's real cloudy, real smoky, real ashy and stuff. Well, close your windows. I want, honey, turn the vents off. Put a damn wet towel underneath your door. And uh, try to get your gist. You online shopping right now, girl? Nobody, uh-uh. I talked to my baby uh, before I left, and I said, Christmas is coming. Um, do you want money or do you want a gift? And I said, if I give you money, you could... Uh, Buy what you want. He was like, yeah, just give me money perfect because you was getting that anyway. Shit. What the fuck? Cause I'm not shopping for no ho but myself. I know what I want. I know what I like. I'm over the point uh, trying to guess and figure out what somebody like what they made. Nah, I'm not doing all that. So my nephew, my little cousin, which are my two kids, my niece and my other two nephews, I'm going to buy them toys because they still young. So I'm going to go to Disneyland and, I mean, the Disney store and go the fuck in with them. Just gave them all type of Captain, Captain Star and Elsa or Elsie or El whatever from the little Frozen. Get them a whole bunch of that little shit, little Crayolas with all that little shit on there. And um, get them some nice little baskets full of
for shit. And then my other two that's old enough, baby, they get some money. Her breath was offensive. <laughs> You are not. Somebody. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, ma'am. The only thing, wait. The only thing you could tip her was mints. No coins, baby. I don't even want to give you a dollar for your breath. I'm going to give you some mints. Put this in there right now. Handle that part while you are here performing. And breath like that. Oh, I didn't even write down her, um, her jib. No, ma'am. I'm going to have to call this. Fuck it. I'll call when I get to the States. Uh-uh. Baby, he had to. Mm. Oh, that feels beautiful. He had to give her some. I can't even tip you, girl, with that breath. I got to give you some mints. You know, I don't, you know. Not on her situation, but I have told him. Baby, you can't be, every bitch can't hit that stage, bitch. That's why this, I told them I, damn, this expires on the 1st. I get back on the 31st. Oh, this expires on New Year's. I ain't gonna better use this anyway, because they don't let passes on New Year's. Um, I had to tell him, right, no, bitch, you don't need no dollar. You need a mint ASAP. I had told him, if you're going to do an event, Excuse me. Do not put your name nowhere on it. Don't you even advertise it. And that way people won't even know you a part of it. Because for real, don't nobody in L.A. really fuck with him like that. And I'm tired of hearing shit. And I have told him, don't put his name on nothing. Don't advertise nothing. Because people are not going to come when they know he's, he, when he's doing it. Now, honestly, I forgot about it. I went to go say hi to my friend's mama. And got my judge, and I was like, I'm not putting on no drag. Not for the dwala. Mm. I want that Carmack to get out of there. Got in that Pio Now the alto is not Mama Singer. Baby. She was saying, breath, <laughs> fix my breath, help me fix my breath. The neighbor's tipping her, you got to fix your breath and get it right, fix. You need to fix, you need to fix, you need to fix your breath and get it right. Lister, you need Lister, you need Lister. You need Listerine and get it. Baby, I don't know why it was canceled. I just found out today. We just found out today. So I have no idea, Jim. This is called Honey. Cookie, Girl Scout Cookies Honey. Or Honey the Brand. This is one of those. With nothing in it. I just got it to be doing something. But. <clears throat> baby I had told her. I have been telling your, your parent that forever. Stop putting your name on stuff. Stop advertising stuff. Because you know the girl's going to deal with you. And if you're going to have something. Bitch sit back and have an event. Don't be the host. Don't do nothing. Just go and enjoy it and sit back and make some money. Because as long as people know that he's on the mic and he's doing something, they're not coming. And no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. 
this is just for what people tell me because the door is my homegirl. You know, we, I got in some shows and I think she turned the party. She, yes, yeah, she need help on her look and stuff. And, but I mean, she cool, but, um, three numbers, just. No, ma'am. Back in the day, I didn't want to do three numbers. If I was hot, I don't want to do three numbers now. Shit, even when I'm getting paid. <clears throat> Me and my cousin having a conversation. So you have to be patient. And we're talking about a girl y'all probably know, probably don't know. But my cousin had to tip her mints while she was performing. Because her breath smell like porta potty. And before you went out there trying to <clears throat> talk, you need to uh, fix that. You know what it is about Lamont, and I tell him this all the time, so I have no problem saying this live because I have told him to his face for over the years. It's not always about you being in the front. Sometimes you have to sit in the back to make your things work. Because when people don't fuck with you, they're not going to fuck with you. But if you could throw an event and have somebody else in the front doing all your business, bitch, you're going to make a profit. You can sit your ass back and have a good time and won't have to worry about nothing. And that's just the fucking truth. And you, we don't have a, we don't have no black shows in California. When I say no, I mean into the fucking O. And I don't been from the bottom of California all in between to the motherfucking top. There is no black show in California. And she always get mad when somebody else throw a show. Well, bitch. You can't get mad because somebody else doing something. You can't be the only one trying to have a show. You have to support other people's shit. He don't listen. And his shit ain't gonna never turn out right unless he do what somebody else tell him to do. Hey, Jeff. See? If we both said the same thing, then you know we must be right. <clears throat> But it's the truth because, like I told them, people tell me stuff that they don't come and tell them on. And they've been doing that for years. <clears throat> I'm like, baby, these kids don't fuck with you like that. They don't like you. So you need to have an event and just don't be a part of it. Mwah. You know, but... We can only put the steak in front of the face. Don't mean they're going to eat it. You know, and I got was like, I don't know. But you know what? Maybe, Michael, we should just do our own thing. No, they're not doing drag. Everybody's trying to be real. Everybody want to be real. They want to lightly paint and all that. I told this one girl, baby, you're not getting no show looking like that. You're going to look washed the fuck up with all those bright lights in your face. Mm-mm. All them girls want to be fishing. That's why I love them hoes. Um... That's why I love them hoes to, uh, in like Atlanta and, and all them places. Because all them girls over there, they paint, whether they a girl or not. They don't, they don't put that, they don't play that bullshit. Them hoes put on makeup because they're in a show. They understand show and light. These girls want to put on a little shimmer, a little lip gloss and thinking they fish. No, ma'am. No pads, no bra, no t Girl, honey. I'm so happy I had the drag family I had with y'all because I we, we didn't grow up like that. We grew up, bitch. You can see a couch on the side of the road. Pick that bitch up, cut it out, and wash it, and you got body for the night. Hey, Jeff. 
Drag is just a lot more of what, you know, but to each his own. But for the type of show we used to have in jail, we don't have that no more. Yep, that was our looks coming in and out. And I'm hitting that stage. And if you're in drag when you get there, you end up leaving out in drag. You can't walk in with your sweats and your baseball hat and all that with full, a whole bunch of makeup. No, no, we didn't play that. We didn't have that look. We had, bitch. If you're going to get up in it, you're walking in it, in it. And we had to be up in drag unless we was getting ready at the club. <clears throat> Me and my cousin talking about there's no black show in L.A. And we just talking about how, you know, when we was coming up in drag, how we we didn't walk around with baseball hats and makeup and sweats and all that stuff. We was in drag from head to toe. You walk in the club like a showgirl, you walk out like a showgirl. You're a fucking celebrity. People come to see you and spend their money. And if we didn't, we got red. The dog shit out of. Not by one, but a few of them. So we got it from all corners. <laughs> that was tough love. Oh, you been putting on your body every blue moon. <laughs> well, maybe we do need to come up and do something and have a night. <laughs> I'm coming to tell you. <laughs> you want me to post it? I'll post it. I wasn't going to post it until you told me to. Okay. <laughs> Child and kids these days took it out with them. I learned. I learned from you. <laughs> My lips are chapped. <laughs> okay, I'll be up. I'm gonna go eat in a minute, Jim. All right, bye. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. That was my Jim. Yeah, these, you know, and I'm I'm very to where drag is very um open because it's all about you expressing yourself. And if you want to walk around with no titties and pads, I mean, that's cute for your gist, if that's your gist, but that's not my brand. I didn't grow up in that era. And I don't like how I look in women's clothes without having body on. I like being curvy. And busty. You know? I like all that. That's, you know? I don't want, I'm, and plus, I'm, I'm, too, I'm too fit to not have Padding, you know, I don't want to look like that. Let me reroute you. <clears throat> but yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, thank you, Jeff. I hear they soft. This woman is pretty eh. and her. I don't eat that much. There's too much shit in here. And this is the main reason why. Okay. <laughs> uh, they go there. Yeah, we need to do something like that. We need to figure out what we do. Have our damn ballroom. No, I never done ballroom, Jeff. I have been asked many a times to be in the ballroom, to even be a ballroom mother and all that. But my thing with ballroom is I don't I can't deal with all the fighting. You know. I can't deal with all of that. You know, 
Um, I do have a lot of family and, you know, stuff that, and friends that do ballrooms. I support them and all that. Get my gist. I be up for nine hours, right along with everybody else. Ball starts at 12. We don't get out to nine in the morning, you know. Stars and legends and statements and all that's about four hours. But, um, girl, get that boy some money. Shit. Give him about $300 and say, baby, go do you. Or tell him to write down a couple of things. If he have a damn Game Boy or something, buy him some new earphones. You know, figure out what he may want. And I know it's something dealing with games. Give him a gift card. Girl, give him some fucking money. West Coast ballroom scene is a mess. Ooh. You know, it, it has changed over the years from when it really got popular. Uh, like in the in the nineties and stuff. Um, back in the wet on a, in L.A. part. Now it's just so many kids, and you know it's just it's, it's I don't know. I like going. I like seeing everybody get their gist. I just don't like all the fight that goes on. You know, but what I don't like, and I used to date somebody. I see. I don't. I don't understand the word date and talk to. Well, whatever. I was. And when I say seeing and dating, we didn't have sex. We were just, you know, trying to get to know each other. They was always having their friends around. It was, you know, bad enough. They didn't have no job. They didn't have this. They was. It was just a lot going on. Every time we went somewhere, their friend had to go or one of their friends had to go. If he wanted to spend a night, can his friend spend a night? And I'm like, well, do you not want to be alone with me? He's like, no, it's not that. But, you know, we just best friends. I'm like, oh, okay, no problem. And then all of a sudden, his friend and me started almost liking each other. I just cut it off altogether because I was chilling with the friend more than I was chilling with him. The friend had more personality than he had. And I told him, baby... Just for your own purpose. Don't sometimes bring your friend around every time you go on a date or ask is not going to be good for you because your friend has so much personality until it makes people want to be around him. Not saying you don't, but your friend it's something about your friend. And you can always bring your friend around when you try to get to know somebody because what it means your friend hook up. And I was very close to doing that. But I just didn't want to be bothered. I was like, you know what? Mm -mm. They ain't going to be friends. They, this bitch going to want to try to fight. And I ain't, baby, I don't have time for that. Because I, you better call your mama first and find out what kind of services she got planned up for your ass coming over here with that. But yeah, so it has always been something. Then, I don't know. I'm loving Manchester, babe. I don't walked around all day today. Well, yesterday. Just can you wish your boyfriend Kendall good luck on his Friday night? He's a dancer. All right, Kendall, get your judge. Go out there, you know, to do point them toes and pop, 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 break it, break it down like it's hot. And just, baby, the lights on you, your one moment of time, and just fuck it all the way up. You have to think like everybody there came to see you. So you had to put on a thousand. 
stress them arms. We want clean lines. Posture. Put your head that way. Hold it back in. Put your butt out. Drop it like it's hot. Then dip and do it. Do all that. But I wish you all the luck, babe. I really do. Just talk. I love your raw just talk. Oh, thanks, Jill. I'm doing good, love. How are you? Can't wait to see you come back to Chicago. Okay, Chicago. That made him smile. Smile, Jill. I love making people smile. Depending if I should go live and speak my motherfucking mind, who will watch? Girl, oh my God, sister, you need the Lord. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, <clears throat> just I haven't seen you in drag. Exactly. Uh, that's up to you. Baby, that's if you want to watch it or not. Personally, I really don't give a fuck because I'm going to get paid for it, whether you watch it. Now, what I would tell you to do is when first Sunday is on, you just make sure you watch that. So the views on that was still clock in, and I could still get my coin. But Drag Race, all right, baby, that little check was already gone. They crack you up, okay? Save them. Save them, baby. They they have you laughing. Okay, she's smelling hair. So both of y'all got the same wig on looking identical. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. My sister wants to know where I got no Tina said no pink lemonade from. Yeah. No Tina said no pink lemonade. We were saying that back in like 98. I think we came up with that like in 98, 99. No, wait, I'm lying. No, I'm not. 90. Yeah. Yeah, that's an old, old word that, you know, I just said people keep it off with no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. You've been sick for days. Go to the doctor. Did you go to the doctor and see what's going on, boo? God damn, what's going on? You shitty, you throwing up? First Sunday was just on the other day. I had to be, yeah, just, so sure was me. All hugs from like you too, boo. Don't forget to bring some food back when you. Oh, girl, I ain't bringing no food back. I'm eating all that shit right down there. I'm going to eat all that shit. And eat. I don't know why it was canceled, love. I just found that out today. I don't know. Um, what I do know, they said you could save your ticket for, I think, with Trixie coming to town in January, or you could use your ticket 30 minutes down the road from wherever we're going to be. Baby, I have no idea. And honestly, it's not even my business, really, because that's not my part of the... Uh, that's not my part. I'm just the entertainer. That's going to get paid whether the show is on or off. And that's the truth. If they cancel all them motherfucking shows, baby, I'm still making my money. So just hand mine over. You and I will be happy. Now, the fans and the friends out there, they may not be so, but I'm going to be happy because I got my pay. But I really don't know why it counts a boo. So, um, yeah. I hope you get a show. Well, you know, I just did some stuff with uh, Wow Presents. It's called Jasmine Masters Class. 
And then I start talking about stuff and I read questions. People send me letters and stuff, ask me different things. And I give them advice on it. Like, it's the same shit here. It's this and I have something to say together. But I'm in drag. Get in my motherfucking jish. But if they if they if they show this one, I don't know how they're gonna add it or whatever, or slice it or not. But it was this one about relationships. Ooh, I had got so knee deep in that. One of the people said, "Bitch, you just helped me out of my own fucking relationship," and I came down here to grab something out the room. No, it's not out yet. It may be out like in Jan. I'm thinking January. I'm really thinking in January to be out. Because I just spoke the truth. Baby, y'all got to understand how to communicate. You have to know how to communicate. You excited me too, Jen. They beating his ass with them hands. Now, Indiana girl, you already know. Now, I will block your ass. You know, that person do not even exist over here. I don't give a fuck what that motherfucker got to say. That's another person I may have to chin check on site. Because they keep pushing my buttons. And you only could dial my number so many times before I pick up. I'm sweet as pie, but bitch, I got a limit like everybody else. And I don't like people pushing my limit because I go the fuck off. And I'm not a violent person, but I'll put a bitch underneath quick. Bitch, you better sleep in that corner and pray about it. Fine. We found out within an hour if gay marriage. Oh, I hope so. I know it will be. I know it will be. Because when I was in Australia, baby, let me tell you what I saw. I saw a lot of couples together holding hands, doing all that. And I never once seen uh, nobody frown up at them, point, do none of that. Everybody was in their own business. And I seen men, women, will you name it, they was together and didn't nobody say nothing so I believe and I hope and pray with all my heart that they really let that go by because it's nobody fucking business anyway if two people want to get in be in love and get married why do anybody give a fuck bitch if it ain't your ass why the fuck do you care I never I never understood that and until somebody can honestly tell me um, why is it so hard to just let people love and live who they want to be and get married to who they want to say I do too? Why is it your business? Then I will understand. But having nobody actually came out and told me why it's their business when we had this discussion. Because everything they're saying is bullshit. Oh, you know now, Indiana. That bitch ain't got to be happy about shit for me. Just be happy I haven't walked off on that ass shit. And I'm about to start being petty like everybody else. If you fuck with a bitch I don't fuck with, I can't fuck with you. So you better start sleeping and picking your side. Because if I chin check that hoe one day and you decide to be in a, in a way talking about no, 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 girl, you may end up getting drop kicked. And I tell all my friends that, bitch, if I'm in somebody's ass and you talking about no, 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 bitch, you may get popped too. You can't be friends with both like that. No, ma'am. And I'm the cool one. But you better, ooh, lick it. <laughs> D 
damn stop swimming thick and bad. Baby, that is not real at all. That is too much fake ass. <clears throat> Girl, I don't know who ass is that, but they need the Lord. Because that's too much ass in there. You know what? Somebody that I don't fuck with no more, one of they, I don't know if they, the peace, the friend, or what's going on, but they have really been trying to talk to me. And I'm like, well, you know me and this person was friends before. And we would never be friends. Because I'm done. And me messing with you. And I don't think it's worth it. I mean, it's like, why am I messing with you? Like, why why would I hook up with you? Is it because we're not friends? Me and this bitch ain't friends no more? Or is it because I feel something for you and I don't feel nothing for you? <clears throat> so. And me sleeping with the person, that ain't going to do nothing to the person. I'm doing a great job now, just not speaking to them. Because that's fucking them up. Because they don't know if I'm going to snap off. They don't know what. They just know this bitch is not speaking or paying attention to me. Now, honestly, I really want to snatch some fronts out. <laughs> but I'll be trying to... Yeah, baby, you can find dick and ass anywhere. But I'm just like, mm-mm. I don't want to. You know, it's cool, you know, but nah. Mm-mm. Child, please. Oh, so, I don't know, but I'm, I'm, you know, I just keep avoiding questions and, you know, I already said no a couple of times, not my gym. But who knows? But I do know it ain't gonna go down. <laughs> Fuck that. And I wouldn't even like. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to do nothing like that. That just. That just be cool. And keep our friendship as it is. I need to find me a, a nail shop today. Nah, I'm cool. I'll wait till I get home. I don't like getting my feet down places I ain't never been before. Ever see the video with the girl doing her eyebrows with Nair? Girl, I did see that. I sure did. I don't know how that's going to play out afterwards. Meaning, after you Nair up there. But I'm not doing all that. And she kind of fucked up too on her brow. I'm good. Just go go somewhere. If you don't do it yourself, just let somebody else do it. Everything people do on Facebook and Twitter and all that shit and Instagram ain't always cute. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Come on, Everything ain't. <laughs> Indiana, I don't get back until New Year's Eve. You know what I mean? It's, uh, I seen her do it though, but they they came out kind of cute. But no, I don't want near on my face because they don't say face; it say legs and arms. And I will put it on this. But I get a honey have some one of the little bitches to get me together. I 
I saw that paper magazine with Nikki. Baby, what uh paper magazine with Nikki? I haven't seen it. I ain't seen shit, Jen. I ain't seen a motherfucking thing. That's what I told the pope. I ain't seen nothing. They know I haven't seen it though. But I know everybody going up for her and Cardi B uh in that rap song, cause they both look hot as fuck. I would love for them two just to get together and get their jib. Um, I don't know when I'm coming to Pittsburgh, baby. I hope soon. <laughs> Wait. Bathroom <laughs> beauty shop. She going in to Crelligen. <laughs> That's my sister Chevelle curling her wig in the uh, in the bathroom. I love you too. I love you too. This thing almost out. What's the thing? The fuck? I think breakfast is at seven o'clock. No way. 5,000 views already. Y'all, come on, people. Uh, I love you, too. Okay, yeah, but yeah. I'm going to go down here and fuck this food up. I know Stacy ass up there down there asleep. I'm going to tell her, bitch, I told you. I knew I was going to, I told her I was going to make it to breakfast because I knew my body wasn't going to be sleepy until after the fact. Because if it's seven six something here, it's ten forty four there. Good food. Well, when I seen earlier today when I got here, it looked really nice. They had some nice looking eggs, some nice looking bacon, some nice looking sausages, some nice looking biscuits, croissants, some nice looking fruit. So yeah, I'm gonna go down there and fuck that up real quick and bring my ass right back up here and pass out. Stay sleeping perfect piece of wings before bed. She had some wings or something she ordered. But I told her I was going to make it to breakfast. No, when I walked in, I seen it. It don't matter. Shit. I'm going to fuck it up, though. Make me a little ham and cheese. Then have some ham. So I'm going to do some ham and cheese sandwiches and stuff. And then um, bring my ass up in here. And get my jet. Oh, this thing finna go off, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat. <clears throat> so y'all have a good one. And I will get with y'all in a few more hours because after I eat shit, shower, shave, jet, it's gonna be time to wake up again because I'm gonna hear noise.